<laughs> All right, this is somehow the uh, the fifth of these nonsense against Delhi, and we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna use cards like Triface. We're gonna hit him with the fives. Fives are hard to take. Fives can hit other stuff. I don't know. I'm feeling fives. Maybe we'll go an FF8 Tribal Hand. You know? Yeah. Hit him in the fives. Aren't many other cards with many fives. All right, let's try level fours. We're gonna try and bring. Ooh, the 1755. I like that. I, I wanna have a weakness still. We're gonna have a weakness going up. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna have a level one in the hand just to like. So he's like, ah, he's found another just terrible hand to give me. So, because uh, we have given him very bad hands the last two. So we need. We need some real garbage card to, to to make him think all is safe. I think we're gonna go a two two three three. We'll make him think we've gone with the two two three three army, but we have not. We have not. Maybe we need two level ones. Yeah, let's go two 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 three threes. Those cards suck. And then he'll be like, okay, he found a new way to be stupid. He'll run out eventually. But little does he know. Little does he know. We're giving him good cards this time. Where's the two, two, three, three stuff? I remember two of them were next to each other. Oh. Huh. There you are. Well, that's one. All right, we'll do that. It's two. Oh, I really want to throw a power card in here. I really want to throw a power card in here. We're gonna go for it. All that. Gigas. Sweeper. We're gonna get first turn for the first time, and we're gonna get him. This is our hand. This is what we got. Let's, let's, try and, uh, let's try and win a closed game. If we don't win the closed game, everything is over, you know? But if we win the closed game, if we win the closed game, then all we have to do is lock in a few cards. Maybe we can win 7-3. That's the dream. We're going for it. I just want decisive action. <laughs> I really thought I won last time. Uh, Delhi found a kind of brilliant save. Um, very brilliant save, I think, actually. Um, where it sort of looked like all the standard avenues were closed to him, but actually, um, but actually, he found a way to make it work. He made the move he wanted to make work. I preach this. I don't always execute it, but he executed it really nicely. In fact, I would say last game, if you look at what Delhi did, if I was making a video about how Delhi played it, he did the Akiyama Center play, right? But he did a really complex version. I hope the video on Akiyama Center plays have come out. Um, he did a play where he goes in five on a corner, only setting himself up one way. But he has coverage in quite complicated fashion, using my up weakness, turning the game into an up facing thing. Ah, can't get first turn. Um, all right, that that's that's really bad. We have some pluses on the board. Four six eight seven notably has a plus in one as well as six. Two two three two three three two has a plus in six. Um three five 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 is a plus in five. I actually wonder if second turn it will be harder not that I want to tie, but like sort of in some ways harder to tie. I think I'll have to go for it in spots and just play with high numbers facing out and hope he can't combo. Because I'm not gonna be able to like plus or same as securely, most likely. Um, so, okay. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so he does the Akiyama 5 play where he only gives himself one side, but more importantly, he makes sure you can't cover that side well. But then I looked at it and was like, but I can because your capture, I capture back. But he was willing to concede that combo to set up one combo in reply, where again, much like the starter, which says, I only have one square, but if you try to block the square I have play, he sets only one square up at the end, but if I try to block that square, he has play. And I think that was just enough. Oh, I was thinking of using that terrible card. All right. Um, 
Well, I think we're playing 2-3-3-2 two, three, three, two, in 5. I think we're playing 2-3-3-2 two, three, three, two, in 5. The sames may prove useful. Now we could try to turn this into a powerhouse game, but I don't mm, don't really see how. So I think I'm gonna start by just. And at this point, I really wish all my other cards were level ones, because uh, because if I'm relying on that final move being you know three three two two, that's not comboing anything extra. I have no sliding here. This is uh, hmm. Really wish I had had first turn here. Really wish I had that first turn. So, okay. Um, so I think he did a really nice job of... Really what I think of the Akiyama thesis of play. But I think Delial basically, if you watch his games, everything anyone else does, Deli will at some point do in his games and will do so in complicated and effective fashion. Um, I think he is the most versatile uh, player of any of the great players. And I think this is part of why he often takes so long on moves, is because there are so many more moves that strike him as plausible. Um, there's a player who talks about, uh, who does chess and divides chess into chess strengths. And um, let me actually look up what they are, because I think we can sort of apply them. Uh, Kislik facets of chess strength. I think that will get it. Um, some of them won't really apply here. Yeah, six different facets of chess strength in chapter four. It's a book review. Um, it's an interesting book. Um, six different facets. Okay, so first is concrete knowledge, things you just know. And Triple Triad doesn't have a ton of concrete knowledge, right? There's not like ah, I've played this endgame position before, you always do this. Or like, ah, I've played this opening before, you always do this. Maybe there is with some hands you've built and played a bunch, but a lot of games are random. Um, there can be stuff of, I, I might count as concrete knowledge knowing like, you know, in that position with cards in 4, 5, and 9 from the last closed game, like that 1, 6, 7, and 8 are the main moves um, is probably concrete knowledge, but it's hard to be super specific. Pattern recognition, um, maybe this counts as like seeing sames and pluses, but this is a lower pattern recognition game. There's certainly more pattern recognition in closed than open. Lower than chess, I mean, there's still a lot. Um, calculation, Delhi calculated really well that last game. Uh, positional understanding. This is where I would put stuff, like in each position, knowing where is most desirable to go. I would say Triple Triad is a game that is very heavily positional understanding and calculation, and less so concrete knowledge, pattern recognition, than chess. But the last one I want to put up is, uh, there are two left, but one of them remaining is candidate moves. And I think Delhi has a wider net for candidate moves than most other players. Uh, all right, I think what we're going to do here is say... I don't think you can take a seven. I think the move here is to say, I don't think he can take it. The cards he's showing are very unlikely to be able to take a seven, right? He probably has a recapture in nine, you know, like a five, one, 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 or a five, four, one, one, or something like that. I don't think he can take a seven. I think there's a decent chance he can take a five. I think there's a very good chance he can actually plus wall a 5, something like 1-6-1-1. But I don't think he can take a 7, so we're going for it. I have to send a message being like, oh shit, it's happening, because... Because this big play, big play, high risk. High risk, not in the sense that I particularly think he can take the 7, but that I'm using this card at all is um is a decision that we will soon see if it pays off uh, so you know how i talked about how he couldn't hit a seven <laughs> well it turns out <laughs> 
turns out his hand was a little less. Oh. Um, one sec. All right, we're back. That was figuring out dinner. Um, well, now everything is kind of a bummer. I don't even have combos through five. I guess I'm just supposed to take it. Probably with one seven five five as three five 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 can slot better in eight. He goes nine. God, if we lose the close game here, we can just we can just call it like. That is a bummer, though. Big bummer. Um, I feel kind of okay about the 1755 is unlikely to be comboed, simply because I think he's likely to have a 5111 or something like that. And that, uh, but if it's like a 5222, no, but it can't be a 5222. And I don't think there's a 5221. If it's a 5122, that hits. But I'm thinking there's not many cards that he could have as his recapture in nine which I suspect he had, that go that well in four. A 6 two, two, one, I guess, does. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> we had a good run. Maybe he doesn't have anything. Maybe there's still play. The annoying thing is if he has like five one two two, he can play that in four, and he doesn't even flip five. I can't. I don't get the combo back. In fact, I never get the combo back because that's two minus one, so it's a one. So ah, uh, whatever. All right, all right. Um, I kind of think I should take more things, but he is likely to have high up left. Like, his last card is likely to have high up, right? And if it has a 5, it's going to take. It's a 5 one, one, one. it's really good, actually, because I forgot about the minus. So actually, I think I'm just going to go, just going to go 4. Ugh, gross. So, we're, we're super dead now. This is just completely match over, um, because we, uh, uh, we now have to try to either survive or actively win an open game that we are certainly not going to win. <laughs> um, so, I think this is match over. Um, Okay, so we avoided the worst of it, uh, but this was obviously really bad. Uh, move order was seven, five, six, three, two, one, nine, four, eight. So I think what's going to happen is I'll pause and we'll come back later. Um, but I, I think this is this is firmly over. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so we'll pause there for now. Oof. Tough. The gamble did not pay off. And we are back post-dinner. Um, sadly, the time passing didn't mean my hand gets to change. Still stuck with that. Bad hand he gave me, and he's still stuck with that quite good hand I gave him, so, um, not great. For me, at least. Pretty good for him. Uh, but he has shown excellent wits so far to survive. Maybe we can muddy the waters. That's the goal, anyway. But, uh, confidence I would describe as low. Low confidence. All right, so I still have the last game up, so we can get the hand. So one four one two, and one one six one. I'll look for the cards a few at a time. One four one two. I should have thought about what decks they might be. And one one six one. Yay! Going to the bottom worked. Um, Look for one four two four oh uh, two three three one I think is an early card. Yeah. Okay. Um, three 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 four is Zeno Gears. All right. Thinking helps. Thinking helps. Uh, one two two four is FF ten two. And now we need the one four one two. That looks kind of DQ. Looks kind of DQ. There you are. All right. Using the brain work. We did the hard part. We found our hand. Now for the easy part. Crushing him. Easy game. There we got that cat wants to say hello. Come on up. I should probably turn off the air conditioner. Yeah, for me. But the sound quality will be better. Sorry about the sound quality this last few videos. I was doing better at um, turning off background noises, but uh, seem to have lost my stride at that. Uh, we can close the prior game. Now uh, this one is the only one that matters. And uh, let's see what will come. Our 1412 covers 4687 in its intended corner. Where are their plus ones? Our 1161 could become a 2272. Ooh, fancy. Um, yeah, so this is terrible. This is terrible. Uh, they have two different ways to plus in two. 4687 is a plus in two. But he might not know that. Um... What else is there to say for ourselves? You know, three, five, 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 and one is just depressing for us, right? But, 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 we have three, 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 four, and five. There's often something. Something to dissuade them, at least. Um, what about one of the five fives in three? Do we have any play against that at all? Not really. Not really. Alright, that's a bummer. Didn't I predict that when he had the 1161 he had something that could take that back? That was a bad prediction. That's interesting to have seen. Might be something we learn about Delhi Enclosed. When he sets up the um the J setup, he may not have recaptures. All in all, I don't think I want to see a 5-5 five, five, and 3. I think that would be pretty painful. I think I'd probably go 7. Probably 1-1-6-1 one, 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 and 7. Maybe I should keep the 6 down. Maybe it has some play, so maybe not that one. Maybe 2-3-3-1 three, three, and 7 like he played last game. The hand does recapture that fairly well. Um, at 
The thing is, I can't go in five or anywhere near it because he just builds out so easily, right? Like, if he starts in three and then follows up in two or six, it's just... There's just so much I can never touch and have no combo potential against. Which means if he goes in three, I think I cannot go into five or six. I think none of them create any difficulties at all. Um, some argument for three or nine. But I think both are really unlikely. Both seem really unlikely to me. Um, and that leads me to 4, 7, or 8. If I was going to go 4 or 8, I'd kind of probably prefer 8, because he won't have safety in 7 or 9 if I keep 1, 1, 6, 1. But I don't like that it doesn't interact with his starter in 3 at all. Uh, he might just use the 3, 3. Okay. Belly likes to keep on his higher power. I don't think he needed to here, but... This should be strong, too. Honestly, anywhere it should be a pretty good starter. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> so maybe it's going in, like, 9. That's an easy recapture for his hand. As long as stuff is easy to take, he just wins. So... Seems plausible. He's thinking, though. He doesn't want to throw away the chance. All right, seven, not nine. Okay. Okay. All of his captures have a high enough number to the left that only four, six, eight, seven can recapture in five. He plays like three, five, 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 and four. Try face in four. Then four, six, eight, seven is the committed recapture in five if needed. If I grab from one, I can barely take from one. That's tough. But if I could take from one and set up against that, but I cannot. I cannot. Okay. That's one idea. How do his recaptures from eight look? Untouchable. So I kind of think, hmm, we could set up synergies against this, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Huh. Can't really have all those double numbers down, right? That's pretty unpleasant. So, we can take it at the moment. Maybe we shouldn't be too worried about how to flip it but instead start working on our own plan. There's no safety in 8. So maybe I just play 9. Just play 9. Eh, I don't see what else to do. This card seems pretty dead to me. Let's try it. It's, a, it's not a position where you know, I have a lot of hoop, but I guess it is. Uh, a move, maybe he can't. Maybe it makes it a little tricky for him to win, you know? He has to play a distant move that at least takes some brain power. That's what we're trying for here. We're trying for. And I don't think that card was in any of my setups. Not that I have many setups. Oh, maybe it was. Yeah, that was my setup against five fives and one. Eh, all right, well, whatever. You cannot lose much equity when you have no equity. But that was part of my setup. I should not have used that card. I should have used a 1412. Yeah. 
Uh, but that gives them four six eight seven. I can't use three three four three. That's my powerhouse. I can't use one 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 six. So maybe it was one two two four. Maybe one two two four should have been used. All right. He has already picked his card. He is using his other low level and have very high level sweepers. So uh, relative to my cards, so obviously very dangerous to me. Um. Seems bad for me. Also, it could just go, yeah, it can go kind of anywhere. It is possible, like, probably not literally everywhere, but it's possible it wins on any square on the board. Least likely, probably five. No, probably like four or six, but, um, but it kind of has a chance anyway. Huh, can I not take that? That's funny. That's funny. Well, I have safety. I can make one card safe. And that's kind of all I'm going to be able to do this game, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, the three, one, and four facing up. I can combo the three. And I can set up one, one, six, one, and six is not a good move. But it does block them going eight. That's all I got at the moment. Okay, let's try to find something better than that. Um, one, two, two, four, and six. Can they go eight? I say no. I say no. Of course, did I get anything from going at six there? No. Great, I don't set up five. But maybe we can, we cover threes facing up, so we have to cover one and four. Never really going to cover four. We could. So three, 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 four. Mm -hmm. No, it's hard to find, like, just a move to continue the game, right? Um, does anything in one or three, they just take? That's yeah, a nightmare. What about eight? I have no combo play on anything to put in five. Now, I kind of think the four or six ideas are actually the better ideas. Where does that sound? One, two, two, four. So there's everything but the four up and eight. It's not going to go eight. He's going to go one. But let me imagine for a moment. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I just... What else is there? Um, the, the vaguely, the one vaguely cute point among many non-existent points is if he goes, um, in eight and I combo in five with three, 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 four, he can plus me back in six, but ah ha ha, my one, four, one, two has a plus in three. Deli says, if I find a way out here, he will be super impressed. Yes, it would be very impressed. It is not going to happen. But it would be very impressive. Not too much to be done here. 
That's the thing, like, the drop-off of levels is pretty interesting, but, uh, level 1s really can have so little play in a way where, like, level 4s, you know, at least have the same back sides as high levels, or, like, their front sides are, like, mid-strength high mid-sides of high levels, you know, some kind of comparison. And even just the jump from 1 to 3 or 4 is, I think, really rough. Anyways, I found no ideas whatsoever this game. I even have problems like 1, 2, 1, 4 landing in 5. I can take back both ways from 6, but then I get comboed. Maybe I should be trying to lose 9, 1. Maybe that's the, um, the classy way to go out here. I probably made a move that's more likely to lose, like, 7, 3. But well, we'll try to 6, 4 it. Unless we have, like, some pretty 9-1, in which case, of course, we will take that. But I would evaluate this as a bad position to go with. Probably had a better try than mine. Couldn't see anything, though. And I can't ask the solver for, like, creative defensive ideas because elemental, which as we know, is the worst rule. He said his original plan didn't work, so that's good. I feel like most things work here, though. Except, like, he's going in 8 or something. I think that, that shouldn't work. But honestly, like, who's to say it doesn't? <laughs> like, even though I combo it and go up 7-3, he's 6-4 back in 1. I guess it's just a tie. I block 6 with 1-1-6-1. One, one, one. But, uh... Yeah. Problem is, 5 is not even a serious to that. I wanted to go in, like, 3 or 6 here. 3 is safe. It's not. <laughs> it's not. So if we go 3, he can actually just take from 6 with the plus. And even though we have two ways to plus in 5, that both capture... Oh, no, no, no. That would flip back 3. So if we did it with 1, 4, 1, 2, we'd actually tie there. So 1, 1, 6, 1, and 3 has at least a one move it ties against. Heroic work. This is, this is the kind of thing we're looking for. Does it tie against anything else? It does not seem so. Um... If I go 5, they go 8. It's just, it's just dead. If I go 6, they go 3 and it's dead. They have the double capture at the end. Probably will go 6. Actually, if we go 6, they probably go 5 themselves. Yeah. Alright. It's the classy way to do it. Uh, 3 doesn't lose bad enough. I think if I play 3, he goes 8, and I don't have a way to 9 1 myself. Guess three, 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 four in in five. I think that's how we'll do it. I 
think this is how we'll get our, our one nine. Because he goes eight, and then we don't capture from six, because that's only an eight two. All right, well, it was a fun run. Uh, congrats to Deli. I will be playing him again soon, possibly already seen by you for TTAC. This was a fun warm-up. Did pretty well in the closed and pretty badly in the open. Um, which may or may not be an encouraging sign. Who can tell? Yeah, so he goes eight. And then I boom him with a great move in six. Cleverly, cleverly getting the one nine. Uh, so I got a poster. There you go, backhander. Uh, back there you are, it's in the fun section. All right. Open, lost, one, nine. One, nine. Uh, with move order. Uh, seven, nine, two, four, one, five, eight, six, three. All right. Well, we'll call it there. Congrats to Delhi.